Allahu 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 Allah بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته والله it's hard to believe that 2014 is about to end and we are about to start our new year 2015 365 days of a year pass like a blink of an eye so we have to analyze our mistakes and the areas where we waste our time in 2014 and how to manage our time properly going forward in 2015. Prophet Muhammad says al fihima min al -nas. In the hadith of Bukhari he said there are two blessings, two favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave to majority of the human being and most of them undersell those favor. What does he mean by undersell? You know in business when we have to give price to our product we have to give that price which matches the value of our product we cannot give low price to that product which have a high value if we will give low price it means we are underselling that product we don't know the importance of that product similarly when Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa said al-ni'matan magboon there are two favors which are usually undersell by humanity it means that humanity does not give proper value to those two blessings and favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and what are those blessings? Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa said, as is good health. al fara is free time. So we have to know that whatever free time we have, it's a blessing of Allah. And we need to use this blessing. We need to use this free time properly and in a productive way. We in this dunya have a limited time. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years, whatever we have, we need to a point we need to prove a point to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we will be a good human being and we will be a good Muslim we cannot simply waste time there are so many time-saving devices right now there are smartphones there are Facebook there are YouTube which can be used positively but unfortunately majority of us use those things in a negative way and we waste a lot of time in, by using these devices so now you have YouTube and you will see the same video 10 times a day. What's the point? Now you're using Facebook and you will spend your entire day on looking at the same post. And you will have video games. I'm not saying video games are haram, but we have to know our limitations. Some of the youngsters, when they will play video games, they will pass their entire weekend in just playing Angry Birds on their smartphone. What's the point? We need to understand that whatever time we have in this dunya is limited. How to go to 2015? Let's make an Islamic New Year resolution. As Prophet Muhammad when he was talking about the fasting on Ashura, he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that if I will get next year, I will fast on two days. So he was making a New Year resolution. He was making a plan for the next year. It's not haram. It's a sunnah of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So how about this as an Islamic New Year resolution that I will pray five times a day. I was missing Fajr Salah, I was missing Isha Salah. Next year I will begin with this optimism and with this intention I will not miss any single Salah. Next year in 2015 I will leave all the haram things. If I have a girlfriend boyfriend relationship I will leave that. If I'm addicted towards some bad thing I will leave those addictions. How about this as an Islamic New Year resolution? I'll become a good husband. I'll become a good wife. We had a lot of fights and it had a negative impact on our kids. In 2015, we'll make sure that we'll become a good husband and wife. In 2015, I'll make sure I'll become a good son and obedient son and obedient daughter. In 2014, my mother was crying because of me. My father, I yelled at him. I just got mad at my siblings without any reason. In 2015, I'll make sure I will reconcile all the family relationships. I'll be the first one who will take the first step I will be the one who will take the first step towards the family unity this is Islamic New Year resolution may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability to start New Year with this proper intention and with this optimism aqulu qawli haza wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa li sa'ir al-muslimina wa al-muslimat assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Allahu 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 Allahu